Hello. It is October and I am in West Virginia. Just got on the AT. Lunch time, so I'm already eating lunch at the beautiful Bear's Den Rocks. So, yay! Happy trail day. I need this so much. Actually, correction, I'm technically still in Virginia. I am in the northern section of Virginia and will cross the border into West Virginia um, a couple of miles after I start hiking today. Um, so technically this view is in Virginia and I'm looking, I believe, into Virginia as well because I drove from there on Route 7. So um, anyway, I'll tell you more about my hike as I get started. I'm still enjoying my lunch. I'm almost to the road crossing, but I had to stop because these signs are so punny. <laughs> oh, I don't read these later. All right, so I'm technically I jumped on trail at the last three miles of the famous roller coaster area. So we're gonna have three more miles of a lot of rolling up and downs. We call them. Puds, pointless ups and downs, but it's just three the last three miles of it. And, and uh, then I will be crossing into West Virginia right before that ends. So you may be asking yourself, wasn't she just in Georgia last time we watched her? Yes, that is true. But Georgia keeps trying to elude me, so. Unfortunately, Hurricane slash Tropical Storm Helene came through two weeks ago, right before I was planning my last, this section hike. So, in order, out of respect for everybody in the mountains there, they're trying to repair their lives and still recover, um, I decided to jump up and connect the dots. I left off in Harper's Ferry when I did Maryland a couple years ago, so I'm just gonna do a couple of short days to Harper's Ferry this weekend and then drive back home. So since I had a four day weekend, it is a six hour drive, I can do the 20 miles during those other two and a half days. So anyway, so I'm going to be enjoying the roller coaster. And then in and out of West Virginia and Virginia until I get to Harper's Ferry. Um, about to cross Route 7 here. It's a four-lane highway, so wish me luck. Right down there. See those crossing signs? That's where I'm going to cross. For now, side of the road. This is where I'm supposed to cross. I'm going to wait the blind curve right there. colors every once in a while. Ready. A little bit rocky, just came down there. Less filming on rocky sections. Come on, roller coaster. 300 up, 300 down. 300 up, 300 down. Okay. We got less than a mile to go to Raven Rocks. We will have a view and a break. <clears throat> Country roads, take me home to the place. West Virginia, now mama, take 
take me home, country road. Some ravens flying up there too. It's called Raven Rocks. You like to live over there. <laughs> All right. I stayed at Raven Rocks for a long time chatting. I'm now, I think, near the communications tower area. There's lots of campsites here good for hammocks, but I'm going to keep going. It's only like 3.30, so I've enjoyed talking with some day hikers. That was all I've seen all day, is a bunch of day hikers coming out of that gap where the road was. So from here, there should be a lot less people. But I'm enjoying the roller coaster. Whee! We've only got a mile left of it. Woohoo! The roller coaster is done. <sighs> you may now unbuckle your seatbelts. <sighs> now to find a campsite. So, uh, looks like there's a trail going up there. But I heard about one further up. It's a possibility like a mile. So I'm going to try for that. Let's see. This isn't too far past the end of the roller coaster. There definitely is a couple of good spots here. Oh, but I think I can go like another half hour and hopefully find something else. Hi. I'm just looking for somewhere to camp. Another one to the left that ran away. All right. Well, I've made to a stealth campsite about 0.3 north of the northern end of the roller coaster. So I am not sure if I'm in West Virginia or Virginia because the border goes like this. So, um, but I'm in a little ridge where there was a deer as soon as I got here. I was getting ready to set up, so that was really cool. I'm hoping that there will be more visiting later. A little plane going by. But, um, there is a, a little bit of a view through the trees down into the valley right here on this ridge line, uh, but it's mostly covered in trees. So, uh, started this morning, or not this morning, at lunchtime basically at Bear's Den Hostel. Went to Bear's Den, overlooked to eat my lunch, and got on trail probably around one something. And got here by a little before five. So that was... It's 5.6 actual miles, but it was like 4.8, um, 18 miles. <clears throat> There's two planes. <laughs> so anyway, I'll um, take a picture of the setup when I'm done eating, but I'm getting ready to eat. I've got some mashed potatoes and some meatballs, and I'm all ready for a nice cold night. Uh, it's supposed to be about 36 tonight, and then it'll be warmer the next night. But anyway, it was a good day. Um... The roller coaster was not as bad as what I thought it was going to be. It had 
some like steep ups and downs but it was like very short lived like you'd have like 200 feet elevation gain and then you go down two or 300 feet so the hardest part was um, probably the last half mile before Raven Rocks um, that was pretty steep and rocky and I had to like sit on my butt at one point but to get down but otherwise it's been a really great hike and I'm really enjoying it it's gonna be peaceful tonight just me nobody else around I haven't seen anybody on trail since Raven Rocks so, have a good night everybody All right, there's my setup and down there is the valley Let's see if I can zoom in <laughs> sun should rise over there so that'll wake me up all right I'm gonna go hang my bear bag I already have the string a ways down there I'll show you when I get there all right there's my bear bag hung for the night unless he's here to pick it up it's like yeah Pretty far away, whatever it is. Good morning. I woke up early to go to the bathroom and just haven't gone back to sleep. It was a quiet night. The first night on trail I always have a little bit hard time sleeping just kind of do that halfway asleep of course every leaf falling or perhaps squirrel walking by makes me jump up and look to see what it is but anyway it's just so peaceful and beautiful I'm really thankful to be here. Here comes the sun, little darling. Here comes the sun. It's all right to do. Good morning. All right. I'm hitting the trail. Goodbye, my campsite there. I'm hoping to do 11 something miles today. It's supposed to be a pretty decent terrain. Oh, definitely going to be silk lazy. But uh, a lot of level, not too much incline. A lot of rocks. But this is the border of West Virginia, Virginia. And I get a ridge walk for a couple hours. Well, a couple miles anyway. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Wilson! A gap in back for one of the saddest moments in movie history. <sighs> Always my excuse to sit. I could walk around. sitting sometimes too. All right, so one thing I'm noticing about this terrain is it's totally different from what I'm used to in North Carolina, Georgia, and see well, there's a lot of flat. <clears throat> there's not much underbrush, 
so it's easy to just pop off trail and stealth camp. Um, actually, there's a little fire pit over there. Um, it's easy to find spots. I've seen so many places I could have hammock camped along this past uh, three-mile stretch. So that's unusual. It's not North Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. It's just like steep on either side of the trail. Look at this rock. And it's also um, full of underbrush. So you like can't really get to find a spot. Well, I just ate uh, the ground. <sighs> All right. It's nice and level. Uh, I can pick up my pace. I tripped on a rock. Uh. All right, I'm just checking myself out. Seems okay. Wrist hurts, hit a rock. But luckily my face hit the dirt right next to the rock. Whew. All right. Now to get back up. And my face hit the dirt right next to that rock. And my wrist hit the rock. And my foot tripped over there. I'm not gonna go to Blackburn Trail Center because it's point two downhill. I keep going, I think there's a view up here. I'm gonna sit and have a, have a second breakfast there. My face does kind of hurt. I think I get some bruises. Oh well. Get get fall. Get oh, that's a nice view to the west. here. Some more rocks over there. It's pretty. There's actually some little spots in the woods right behind here where you could camp. They have a sign that says no fires though. So I'm gonna sit here and have a second breakfast. Catching up to some people that stopped and saw me at the view. Uh, one of them is a girl who will be finishing her through hike in Harbors Ferry tomorrow, same time as me. They're probably going to camp in the same area that I'm going to camp tonight. So, all right, it's an interesting little boardwalk area. All right, I'm coming down to the David Lesser shelter. I'm going to do things about the shelter, so I'm going to be stopping here for lunch and a water fill. Uh, it's a quarter mile to the water, going to this sign. That shelter has a nice port. It's a really big port. Nice seat. There. Really nice. It even has like skylights. Sweet. Okay. Now, come back over here. There's a picnic area with a stream, which is where I plan to eat my lunch. Painting swing, but hopefully it'll be comfy. And there's a privy over there. You can see the roof. All right, I'm gonna drop my stuff here and then go get water. So the trail to water is very long, very steep, very down, and this is the water. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Where'd it go? I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So I had to like literally do yoga poses to get the water from down there. I was thankful there was not a snake underneath this rock because there's like a whole cave underneath this one. So anyway, now I have to hike back up a quarter of a mile.
traffic. So I'm gonna run, run through. Somebody was turning there. Walking to the water at the shelter, you can walk to a gas station. Point three down that road. I'm scary, probably, but much easier. All right, Let's see where I'm going next. All right, walk down to the power lines. Means I get a little bit of a view each way. Oh, sorry. Camera at my feet. Can't see the other way. I think I have less than a half a mile to the campsite. I'm hoping it's not full. Seeing a bunch of people. Got in at the last road. Fresh feet, walking up with backpacks. <laughs> but, oh, all right, doing good. All right, the end of day two, hiking West Virginia and Virginia. I did 13.8 official, like actual miles today, and I think it was. 12.8 AT miles. Uh, it was a long day, a very rocky day. My feet are very sore, very tired. Um, keeping them up since I got here to camp. I ended up pushing on past the four mile campsite to around where the last uh, Virginia, West Virginia border is, where uh, people that are doing the four state challenge, this is kind of where they camp because it's the last time you're in Virginia. So in the morning, I will finish out West Virginia down into Harpers Ferry and then get to visit my good friend, Jeff. So, um, what else? I guess that's it. <laughs> so as you can see, it's already dark. Um, I kind of got uh, slow making dinner and getting my hammock set up um, because I was resting my feet for quite a while first. I'm hoping that I don't have face bruises in the morning from that fall I took. Uh, my wrist seems okay. It's a little bit swollen and I have a lump on my shin. Um, so that's, I think that one's bruising, I can tell. Um, I, my cheeks haven't felt um, the pain since probably about an hour after the incident. So I was getting nervous for a little bit because I had a really bad headache and my cheeks were hurting. I was afraid <laughs> it was more so, a bigger injury than I had thought, but it seems to be okay. So uh, hopefully I don't have like strange black eyes or something in the morning. And um, I don't think I have a concussion or anything, but I definitely took Motrin and Tylenol to kind of combat that um, little bit of brain shake. I think I went down kind of in a wave like that, like whoop, and then face <laughs> right in the dirt. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, feel fine. Other than that, I'm just tired and sore all over my body. So, all right. Well, only three miles to go to Harper's Ferry. See you in the morning. Good morning. <clears throat> I had a great night. Slept like a rock. <sighs> I took uh, two of my pain pills for my feet because they were hurting when I first laid down. But um, I slept great. And I woke up right as the sun was rising again. So I'm just sitting here watching it rise through the trees. Um, I don't have to rush out this morning, but. I probably will go ahead and start getting ready, getting packed up, 
I just saw somebody hiking southbound, so that means they cleared the spider webs. Yay! <laughs> All right. Well, this has been a good trip so far. I enjoyed last night watching the, the trees kind of dance above me. I took a little video of that super early this morning. And uh, I'm just enjoying that a little bit longer before I keep going. All right. I hit the trail a couple minutes ago. And it's going to be up first. And then lots of down. And yes, it's still rocky. So, I'm excited to finish the state of West Virginia. Poor little state. It took me 20 miles to, to do it, but only four miles are actually credited to the state of West Virginia. But you have to go way back to where I started to actually hit all of them. So, that's what I did. I'm also excited to see Jeff, he's an honorary godfather. I grew up in Maryland, but he lives up here still, so I'm excited we're going to meet for lunch and also have to dinner together, so it'll be nice to visit with him, and I know he watches these videos, so shout out to you, Jeff. I love you very much, and I'm glad to see you today. I'm officially entering Harper's Ferry National Park. Good morning. Good morning. I won't hurt you. you precious. Hi. I won't hurt you. Don't worry. Another fern waving at me in the sunlight. Bowie. And that's the way to go. Keep going to have the same. Right. This is more like the terrain I'm used to. <laughs> Skinny trail. Slanted to the sides. <sighs> but obviously you can hear traffic. So I'm getting closer to town. I should probably be hearing this all the way in now. It's actually a little bit steep. Probably doesn't look like it, but it is. My toes are pointed down. <laughs> There's the Shenandoah. We'll be crossing it on a bridge. It's right there soon. It's so pretty. Nice view. I'm gonna stop here for a snack. on the side trail to go to the ATC and I'm gonna have to count the stairs all the way back down because it's a lot of stairs. 
But now I'm in town. Pretty little side trail once you get up the stairs. Alright. And I'm at Jefferson Rock. It's a bit overgrown. Apparently when he was here, he stood on that rock and talked about the beauty. <laughs> Can't really see the rivers as much from here anymore. But I made it. <laughs> <laughs>